Hey SKM family, I'm so glad you came over to watch another one of our videos and today I want to talk to you about the busyness and how to find God in the busyness of our lives. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so today I want to talk to you about the hustle and bustle of life and how we are supposed to continue to find God even in the busiest moments of our life. You may be going through a season in your life where your career is taking that number one place and it just feels like you're so busy with work and climbing that corporate ladder that you just feel like you're not able to give God the time that you want to or that he definitely deserves. So that's what I want to talk to us a little bit about today. I want to talk to us about finding God in the hustle and bustle of life because it can be done. So how can I find God in the busyness of my life when I've got to be at work at five o'clock in the morning? I'm exhausted by the time I get done. I've got kids, sports activities. I've got appointments and meetings. We've got to go to the grocery store. We've got to do X, Y, and Z, and we're constantly busy. So take a couple of minutes. Take a couple of minutes first thing in the morning, as I am doing with you this morning, and focus on God. Focus on Jesus being the center of your life. It doesn't have to be an hour. It can be a time that you have in the morning that you can set aside to making God first. I want to read to you out of the Everyday Matters a Bible for Women that I have been sharing with you guys here on this channel. And it is on uh, seeking God in our busyness. So Priscilla Schreier from War Room, she wrote this little article here in the Everyday Matters Bible for Women. And there's a couple of points she makes that I think is fantastic. She says that during the busy season when it's difficult to dive into scriptures, you can still go through the day seeking him. I am always with you, Jesus promised in Matthew 28 and 10. While we're at the park with kids, at the office, running errands in a meeting or whatever it may be, we can still speak to him. Listen to him, look around to see him, and we can catch an awareness of his presence throughout the day. That's what it's all about, guys. Keeping that open line of communication. You can live out your passion for God by intentionally engaging in your mind and hearts as you go throughout the regular rhythms of your day. So those priorities, those things that have to be done, you can still be seeking God. In fact, I think sometimes it takes more passion to be truly engaged with God all day than spend an hour of quiet time in the morning. So whatever time that you have that you can allot to spending with the Lord and Savior today, I strongly suggest you do that. Five minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever that looks like. It's between you and God. So seek him. Praise him intermittently throughout the day. Listen to praise and worship music and just put him first above all things. The Bible says just take every thought into captivity. So today I want to thank God and I want to take every thought into captivity and remain focused on Jesus Christ throughout my busy day and the hecticness of my life. And I hope you do the same. So stay encouraged, get in your scriptures, turn on your worship music and find God in the chaotic life that you absolutely love and live every day. So thank you so much for staying tuned for this whole video. In the comment section below, list one way that you stay focused on God throughout the day, even in the chaotic and hecticness of your busy life. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like, a big old thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. God bless, guys. When I start my day with you, Lord, there's nothing I can't do. The tempter tries to bring me down When I go to you in prayer, Lord I know you'll meet me there I can make it through the day If I take the time to pray and start my day